So this morning marks the second day of half term and Dominic's at his grandma's and we're going to drop Abigail off at Nanny's house. Is that alright? My right? daddy's mum's. My daddy's mum, that's right. So a hip hop happy Monday morning to you folks. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in, it's funny. Yeah, so Monday morning I've brought a few things in from the shed at home. Like a new uh, grinder for sharpening tungstens. I'm not sure if I can use this one now. I'm not sure what this wheel is. I know you're not meant to use silicon carbide uh, because of the carbon content in there. So my plan to back the weld on the inside of the cone is this 10 mil copper tube, which I have expanded out to fit on the inside of the tank. So let's go in and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Right. So inside the tank, I've pushed the copper pipe into the corner, which you might just be able to make out there. And what I'm going to do is get a cross brace of timber to push on four or six corners being pulled up through this hole with a ratchet strap to pull the copper pipe as high up as it'll go. I also cut it and lapped it in this corner here and I overcut it slightly by about five mil so there's a lot of pressure as I forced it in pushing the cylinder, pushing the copper pipe to the outer edge of the cylinder. Right here are the two trial joints which I think look quite nice on the outside very very nice in fact so we just have to dive back in and have a look I wonder how hot it's going to be still I'll take a torch in with me so we can see what we're doing then we go okay so the joint was around here somewhere see if I can pull oh yes so there are the welds. Oh, look at that. Tiny little bit of coking, but not much. So what do we think? Can we get away with that? Right, so this is my attempt at backing from the outside. Copper bar folded around the edge, taped up airtight, purge in the bottom, it's going to be either genius or ridiculous. The welder I've got set 40 amps, 2 second ramp up time, 4 seconds ramp down, 3 second post flow, 0 0.1 second pre flow, doesn't need much more than that. This is difficult, this is extremely difficult. So I've managed to get a good weld on the inside and the purge bar worked a treat as you can see but it's very washed out. It needs to be just those sharp edges washed in. Welded on the outside. I think the only way I'm gonna achieve that is by standing the tank up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that crossbar that I said and insert it inside. Because uh, I think I need to weld the outside first before I go to the inside. Okay, so I've made this cruciform. This is gonna go on the inside of the tank and hold just like that hold the uh, purge bar on the inside up there you can't see it but it's up there so I'm going to wrap a strap around it and we will force it all the way in in fact send it most of the way manually that looks at the nuts doesn't it just like that so that's holding the the chill bar on the inside so when I weld on the outside it pulls the heat away for me. So we are sailing along. What do you think? Can you see it? Probably not there. Let's come around here a little bit. Apart from obviously the one or two holes this is how the weld's coming on now. So when I get a little blowout or a hole, I'm just going to carry on and I'll come back to it because I don't want to put too much heat in. 
but I think she's buzzing along there quite nicely. What's really distracting is light coming down the back of my helmet and hitting the lens. And when it hits the lens it sort of reflects in your eyes and you can't see your weld very well at all. So in order to negate that problem I've got an old flat cap here that's about knackered. So Stuart actually donated it to the Guy Fawkes cause at Halloween and if it's got any sentimental value still I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Make sure I keep all of my fingers. Stretch this over the back, tape it on and then cut it down the centre about there so that can stick on there and then I'm hoping yeah it can go on there like that let's have a goosey gander my old cockaroo you know I'm thinking oh what are you doing to your nice helmet but don't worry so it sort of works I'll tell you what I don't need I actually don't need that cardboard on there so let's peel that off remove the cardboard stick that back on now let's give it a whirl oh yes I could do with attaching it to these sides as well. That's much darker in there. I'm happy with that. What's this? Oh, tape. <laughs> well, there was a slight panic there when I thought I'd welded the copper to the to the stainless but it had just expanded because obviously it was still warm. Right, let's get in, see what we think. Oh, it's like the Blair Witch Project. Okay, so what do we think? I think you'll do for me a baby. Look at that. It's lovely. Very little coking. Penetration in some areas. I'm extremely chuffed. Now the question is, do we clamber inside and flow? I think if I do, it will give it a much better hygienic finish to the tanks. But it will also mean more welding, more argon and risk of ruining the seam on the outside which you can see looks rather tasty. Right, we've got a full tank of argon in this one we seem to have 2400 psi and I'm taking no chances we're gonna leak test this bad boy So we're looking, we're looking for any bubbles out of any of the connectors. There we go, look at that. Look at that bubble. So we know there's a leak there. I bet I look like a corpse. Yeah, you look like I've just found you in the sewers. It's flowing nicely. Right, so I've finished on the inside of this tank now. And the outside, we've got mixed results, a bit of deformity there. So where I've had the purge bar, it's nice and silver in most places, but I'd made the mistake of not purging with a lot of it, thinking I could just get it done and it wouldn't come through, it has come through. So a lot of this is all coked and pitted. So there's a chance I might have to reflow the outside and then if I have to do that, then I have to go back and do the inside again. 
which is crazy, but it might be necessary. So I'm gonna go in and put this purge bar in, or backing bar, and then we'll do it again. Right, so I'm getting in here to put this copper hoop again on the inside to provide some backing. Oh, I heard it crack your wood. As long as it's nice and tight on all four corners of that copper pipe, you see what it's doing, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's pulling the copper pipe up to the top. And you can now see the results. So first things first, I've got to grind a lot of this crap off. It's not as bad in the cold light of day as I first thought it was. Okay, so I've just spent 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour even, going around the tank with the grinder, with the sanding disc on, and as you can see, it's put quite a nice rounded, pencil round edge on the tank. Well, the tank is up on the side, and I am. But just a little bit impressed, folks. I mean, how do I get the profile of that? I can't tell you how happy I am. Yes, folks, that is the world. Like I say, grinder and paint makes me the world that I ain't. So, thanks to everybody who joined me on the live broadcast that I've done this afternoon, or this evening. It was fun to do. It's the first time I've done one here. The trouble is my phone died, so I'll see if I can set up some type of charging system so we can do that again. Um, obviously I was grinding and stuff so I couldn't interact with the audience but thanks for popping by I'm sure it was fun to watch. It was a bit noisy for me. Right well while I'm here I know Stuart really likes it when I pinch stock from the stock room so in order to keep a smile on his face I think Stu I'm going to have a Golden Ale, Mosaic, Amarillo and Delta from Brew By Numbers. Cheers buddy! I have had a long day here today, even though I didn't start till 10 o'clock, it's gone 8pm. So I'm going to go home, enjoy this Brew By Numbers and edit the vlog for your enjoyment. And we'll see you on a fine and dandy Tuesday morning. Just one more thing, thanks everybody for the comments and the support that I'm constantly getting. It means a lot to me and it also inspires me to continue to make these vlogs. Cheers folks, see you tomorrow.